Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you this box, what's inside. Kindly enough, Ninja Kitchen UK sent me this box to have a little test at it. I've not paid for that. They haven't paid me, just received that, so thank you to them. So I'm going to give you today as well a unboxing and first impression of this Woodfire XL Pro grill. So let's jump into that and let's have a look. Nice. All right, let's take the box off. Let's see what we have in... Well, actually not. No. So basically, this is a new model, the XL Pro Connect. So you've got a barbecue grill, barbecue smoker, air fryer, XL capacity. It's got the app as well. What else says on the box? Got an integrated smoke box. We'll have a look in that one soon. Takes wood pellets. So let's take the box off. Right, so let's have a peek inside. Take some cardboard off. And what do we see? Packaging. <laughs> so we've got a statement of compliance. So this model is OG901 UK. So in a box, we've got some uh, all-purpose blend pellets, robust blend pellets. These little bag, it says up to three cooking sessions. We'll test that one later. We've got some uh, leaflets, some recipe directions. We've got the actual manual. We're going to have a look into that one, definitely. We've got the uh, accessory and the guidance as well. So, okay. If anyone wants silica gel, free bag. So let's dive in a bit more deeper. Where's my knife? As you can see, I have not unpacked this one yet. I was waiting patiently for a couple of days it's definitely packed robust this cardboard you can actually stand on it and sit on it oh, this cardboard has got the uh, cord actually the plug is very chunky you've got reset and test button just in case Let's lift the grill out and then hopefully someone's going to move the uh, cardboard out of the way. <laughs> Ta da! This is how the grill looks. No, it's not. Let's take this uh, wrapper off. Ta da! Ta da da da! So right, the first impression of the grill without unpacking fully. She is big. Grill is big. Looks robust. Let's take all the uh, plastic and tapes off and then we're going to have a look at what's next. That new unboxing sound. That's the first look inside. Oh, we've got more stuff inside. Okay. So I'm guessing we're just going to lift stuff out. Like that. We're going to have a look at what we've got in a minute. Let's take all the uh, paper, plastic. I have to say, the Ninja packaging is very good. They do like to protect the stuff. Which is what I like. Take this out. I'm guessing somehow. Oop. <laughs> right, so we're going to put that back in. Right. So the first look inside looks like this is a heating element for the grill. You've got a fan and a heating element at the top. Okay, not bad. All right, let's have a look inside. So you've got probably this is the main plate that goes back in. Yeah. Because I'm guessing that way. 
it sits on it like that nice and smooth and slippery so what else do we get in that box this okay okay so you get the probe with it you got one single probe with it that's very good definitely gonna test that one whatever that is let's have a look oh this is uh i believe this is a little pellet uh, loader what's in the next box Uh, I'm only guessing at the moment, guys. Aha, so you've got... Okay, I believe this is a uh, drip tray for the back, all the grease. Okay, we'll have a look into that one later. More silica down. So what else? Yeah. A... Some sort of cooking tray. Okay. I'm guessing I need to have a look at the uh, manual or accessory. So I guess this goes like that. That's probably more for air frying, or I don't know. We'll have a look at that one. We'll test it. Right, so there you go. So that is unboxing. Also, Ninja kindly sent me uh, the grill cover and some rub, which is uh, I'm definitely going to test the rub out. The rubs are made by Angus and Noink. Super great rubs, one of the best ones. Right, let's take a look at the back of the grill. Yes, majority is like bottom is plastic. All of this is metal. So you've got protected cables. I'm guessing that's going in there. I'm not going to go into too much. So the wattage on this grill is 1700 watts. So this grill on the full power probably gonna be running you around one pound 20 or so an hour. So yeah, okay, Ninja Woods Fire. So that's how it looks from the side. It's actually quite big. Let's have a look at the front now. You got on and off button there, which is I'm guessing the Sort of like an emergency or just on and off button. So this side, this is where the uh, the pellets go in. A springy pellet holder drawer. So this one is removable. Basically, you load your pellets in there, and somehow it burns and then basically goes back in, collects all the ash. Okay, not a big amount of pellets, but. I suppose they designed it that way so oh, so the front of the grill so what have you got there obviously all the controls dial start stop temperature the button for the wood fire flavor the modes which is a smoker grill air fry roast bake dehydrate reheat okay you've got a one two sockets for the uh probes i wonder if i can use any probes with the same plug size yeah no the the grill itself is nice. So the let's say that's there. Will it fit a uh, St. Louis style ribs? 1.5 kilo. I'm not sure, but I've actually got one nearby. I'm going to test it out. So the moment of truth: 1.5 kilo Swift pork spear rib. Okay. Okay. So. The box says two full racks of ribs. You actually can get two full racks of ribs. Well done, Ninja. Okay, I'll take that one. Right, so this basket actually called a crisper basket, which is probably crisping up, air frying, and stuff like that. I'm going to try something else on it later. So this one was a grease tray. Yeah, so the grease tray goes just in the back like that basically all the grease drippings comes out through the hole right there so it's going to be basically collecting all the drips so it's not going all over your worktop which is a good idea so yeah interchangeable uh, ninja 
spoil liners, but I suppose you can just use that. And what you just have to do when you empty, just wash it out, put it back in. Because I bet these are not cheap. I'm going to check you out. I'm going to let you know. Yeah, so this little uh, scoop was a, as I said, pellet scoop. Then you got the probe, as mentioned, which is a very good. Nice to have that as an addition on the grill. Nice one. So what else did we have, which is we had a pellet box, which I showed you earlier. Obviously in the box you get two flavor wood, that one and that one. I'm not a pellet guy, so I don't have any pellets, so we're gonna just go with these ones for now. I know Ninja recommend using just theirs, but pellets are pellets. Wood pellets are pellets, so basically we're just gonna try something later, but at the moment I'm gonna be trying their pellets. Right, let's plug the grill in for the first time. Turn that switch at the back, and then nothing happens. <laughs> right, so when you're turning the grill on, when you're plugged in, you want to press the reset button. The little red light comes on, then turn the button at the back, and turn the grill on. And it says, hello. And let's remove some of the stickers off. So there you go, the grill is on now. So what we've got, what we're dealing with it. So basically so we look we press the temperature use a dial to go the minimum is a 60 uh celsius and so we look at the maximum so the maximum is actually uh, 210 but that's on smoking so let's have a look on a grill as a low medium high right okay air fry so you've got the lowest 150, highest 240. Roasting, you've got 120, the lowest. The highest, you can go to 220. That's all in Celsius, guys. So baking, lowest 120, the highest 210. Dehydration, 40 to 90. And then reheating lowest 130 celsius to 210 celsius and basically what you have you got every uh, mode sort of preset hours but you can set your hours as long as you want it grilling high 10 minutes air fried 20 minutes yeah that's good so let's take a look at the next thing right let's try the app connection see how good it's going to be so we've got a bluetooth enabled to detect your grill Let's allow, uh, enable location, plug in your grill, that's already done, that's done. So what are we looking for? Turn on discovery mode, so I'm guessing press that. Three, four seconds. That's actually a blinking Bluetooth Wi-Fi, so we go next, use the grill, that's already there, continue. It says it may take a few minutes, but hopefully it's not going to take two minutes. There you go, Ninja, you can change your name, let's go Ninja Outdoor name and apparently we are connected so we can do wi-fi as well we're connecting to the wi-fi now obviously the wi-fi outside probably is not the best one for myself but i think we are connected now let's go to the dashboard no i don't want so there you go let's see how that works uh not so easily so do you choose the settings obviously you can do the same thing on the actual uh, grill, but if you want to use technology, you basically go down there, choose your times, choose the temperatures. Will I be using the uh, app? The time will show. Right, so let's go into a preheat. Right, so to preheat, what you need to do is press the start button. I've got a little blinking uh, fire going on so that's i'm guessing is igniting the actual grill so while the preheating process is going on basically uh, on a smoking setting so we've got the smoke coming out of the back i'm guessing for the exhaust nice smell of the smoke okay guys so what i was doing wrong actually I'm not supposed to add any uh, pellets in it so when you reheat into your temperatures reheat first get to the temp then add pellets to it, start again, and
There we go. So the grill is preheated now. So 120 degrees. As I set here, timer is four hours. I've set up. That was a, basically whatever was set up already. So now what you can do is add your pellets to the smoking. I'm only trying now just to see how much smoke it's going to produce. So there you go. One scoop. Full uh, tray of pellets. Close it up. Let's have a look inside quickly. Is a heating element inside probably that's what's going to start burning the pellets and let's wait for some smoke to come uh, out and see how much smoke is going to produce so the smoke's already starting coming out from the uh, tray and the smoke is coming out the back already with a little exhaust so let's give it five minutes and see how much smoke is inside by opening the grill so in the meantime, while the uh, smoke is building inside, I'm going to have a look at the uh, probe. Basically, unwind this thing up. I believe you can actually put that somewhere at the back. I haven't looked at that yet. Not sure where to put that. Oh, so there you go. That's where the, uh, the probe sits. And the little place so we don't lose it. So let's unwind it and plug in. So quite a little short piece of cord. Not bad, that's enough for the uh, all the way to reach inside the grill. So let's plug that in. And there we go. So what will happen now? So I think you have to press the pull button. I'll be very honest, to be honest, I've been trying to play with this uh, pro. I've had no joy. So we'll put this one to the next uh, episode, or maybe uh, I ain't got no patience for that. But yeah, let's have a look. So the grill's been on for about 20 minutes. She's smoking quite nicely. Let's have a look at the uh, pellets. Pellets are smoking, yeah. And let's open inside and have a look. That's quite a lot of smoke. Ooh, lovely smoke that is. So the grill fans and everything shuts off. The time stops. So basically when you open, you're not smoking. So as soon as you close it, it goes back on the fans. The time starts going again. So yeah, that's the smoking process. There's a lot of smoke coming out of that little uh, box. Not sure how long that's going to last. So we'll take a look. We'll burn it a bit. That's the first burning. To be honest, I'm seasoning that grill. So I'm not putting any meat when it's brand new. So right, the ninja wood fire has been going on for half an hour. Let's check some uh, temperatures outside. So... The dome outside is 46, which is uh, touchable. Let's have a look where the actual uh, pellets are. Is 90, so yeah, try not to touch that there. You can burn it yourself. The actual draw is a little bit less, 75 Celsius. Around there and there, touchable. The actual front is even cooler, which is 26. We're near the handle, so definitely not going to burn yourself here. So as you can see, I'm holding my hand on it, it's warm, inside is 120, so let's have a look inside, let the grill turn off, so the inside, the actual grill running 120, 124, 25 it was in one place, edges 115, Basically, definitely got a, a hot pot, but by only a couple of degrees there and there. So, yeah, no, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to shut the lid and turn itself back on. Yeah, so far, so good. Let's talk about the uh, build quality while I'm playing and uh, just burning electricity and pellets. At the moment without cooking anything but the build quality from outside as i mentioned probably earlier it does look good plasticky 
the, the plastic quality is superior. There's not much that is wrong. To be honest, nothing is wrong with it. So the handle is sturdy, the actual grill is sturdy itself. So moving in, nothing's really banging or creaking or, or moving. You've got that where the fan is. Yeah, no, it's, the grill quality is good. Maybe not my favorite color, blue, but we can live with that. So yeah, another, let's have a look at another feature. Again, so can we change the temperatures while we're cooking? Yeah, easy. And lower it down, so probably in some time. There you go, you press the uh, the dial button, sets you up, so basically it's gonna take a little bit of time probably to cool it down to the 100 degrees that I've just set. Right, so to wrap up this video, basically what I think of this grill. It's a well-built grill, don't get me wrong. As mentioned earlier, that blue color, it's neutral, but not my favorite. Quality is good, got loads of features on here. Will I buy this one? Probably, as different uh, grilling experience whatsoever. Uh, I do like my Kamados. I like my grilling on coals and then uh, I like the wood flavor so but thank you to Ninja for this opportunity to actually uh, review this unbox it I'm gonna try cooking on it later on as well and also if you guys want to see a comparison video on this grill and my Kamado Bono grill one to one taste test the look the feel drop the comment down below hope you enjoyed the video thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe it's there press the bell icon like the video and uh, see you on the next episode cheers